does this dance have to do with the Woodworking in America presentation? Absolutely nothing, but it was going on across the street, and I thought that'd be a great way to introduce this, and the music was there, so here it is. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of what I saw. We're going to go through and see some of the exhibits and some of the presenters, and there was a lot of classes, and there was some amazing woodworkers teaching us their skills, so let's go for a trip and enjoy Woodworking in America, Pasadena, California, 2012. <laughs> Through the beginning of this, at least, to see if you can just 
decide where you really want to be. Same deal. Where my salt is. Didn't work this side. Yes, I did. I was just going to brush off some No, no, I'm just doing a stock preparation. <laughs> this guy. Well, so. It doesn't matter how hard you push on this. There's one in five of them. So I just messed with it. And it slipped and we were right. Yeah, well. You hurt your back or something. the rust bouncing here? Yeah. Yeah. It's not correct. In fact, I have to arrange this. So I will do that tomorrow morning.
plumbing saw, you want to use a band saw, you want to set up on the drill press, you want to chew on the end of the board. Yes. It makes no difference to me as long as the dovetails go together and they're tight. Um, and it's purely, it's decorative, it, but it does not really affect the functionality of the joint. We can pass them around, you guys can take a look at them. Some of these took a pretty good beating getting here through FedEx. And if you, was it strictly just to identify the homework? Uh, it was primarily a decorative thing. I think what it was was somebody turned around and did one and said, look, I can do this better than everybody else. And everybody else went, oh, you know, if you can do, you know, that pattern, I can do this pattern. It's a, it's a pretty simple thing. They call them Bermuda dovetails. Sometimes you hear them referred to as Spanish dovetails. Um, these are my patterns that I've come up with. And they're, some of them are based on period examples. The, I'm going to pass them around so you don't need this. Um, usually what they did uh, was they made them out of sheet grass and pieces of like 16 inch grass. <coughs> the next thing we need to do is set up with the outside facing me on the pin board. And I need to lay out my dovetails first. So we want to come in. Yeah. 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 That's beautiful. Oh, she's got one down at the bottom. Yeah. Here. These two of those screws. There's different kinds. There's somebody, there's somebody in there who's got like a, actually has like a scissor mechanism for this kind of thing. Yeah. So all you need is one screw. Um, They're really expensive. Uh, I wonder about the, like, oh, this is, I saw the blog post. Because apparently, Dean Nielsen made this. This is a joke that's kind of running back and forth between he and Larry Underhill. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Looks ridiculous. Well, it's supposed to be ridiculous. I got it. Compound joinery is not a big deal for me, you know. But but I so I took I took readings off the legs that they were you know, the rake was 103 and the splay was whatever. All very <laughs> difficult for woodworkers to try to well do I get two bevel squares? How do I drill that hole at that compound angle? But what I usually do is I what a lot of chair makers do is you convert those two compound angles into what's called the resultant angle, which so you're only using one angle that comes from the center point of the seat. And uh, so I converted that on the calculator and it was sixteen degrees. So they had one angle for the entire project that guided them and made and simplified this whole thing and, and it's perfect. I mean it's this perfect form. I mean it's it's absolutely drop dead gorgeous the, the splay and everything. And it and it relates to the right angle for the sliding dovetail that then flowed into the resultant angle of the legs. So it's it's decoding these pieces because these pieces have this this language to them because they had to be made you know, really well. Uh, very, you know, efficiently. Basic tools. Basic tools, yeah. And so, how were they made? And the, and, the, and the projects, like a lot of these, have lasted five or six hundred years and defy wood movement, uh, like what we consider you know, the laws of wood movement that most people would never violate. They regularly violate it. So it's it's looking at those those projects and and, and under, starting to understand uh, how. I mean, the the, 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 the thesis is that. You know, design, material, and tech, construction technique were never separated. Is they were all they were all deeply intertwined, much more intertwined than we do today. You know, now we design something, then we go find the wood to suit it, and then we you know we we, we take it from a, a handful of techniques to build it. Uh, we can just pick and choose, and that's our that's our prerogative as modern hobbyist woodworkers. But if you can boil it down. Then it's all one thing. I mean, it's all the craft is, is the, the design, the material, and the technique are are all the same. So that's where I'm going. With it. Which is pretty interesting because you said it could do that and it didn't look that easy. The crisp part. Yeah. And this was a special aircraft part. I walked in. These are these are actually these are used on. You know, gas struts are to like hold up your the hatchback on your car. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay, what the, that's, 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 that's what these that's what these are. You can buy these on like McMaster Car. I don't know where I, I, I'm right. Yeah, yeah. McMaster Car has that kind of yeah. stuff. Yep. Good. This is a great mm -hmm. idea. I mean, the, yeah, the, the, yeah, it's a really good idea. It's interesting. And I brought it in, so I saw this Photoshop. So I'll make a real one. Well, so he made this one, and I got back and I showed him the real one from Lee Nielsen that's this long. And he said, oh, I said no, it's, Thank you very much. It wasn't a fraud, you know, it wasn't a fake, it was a, uh, the real thing. So uh, it was pretty funny.
Trident really, it doesn't have cup holders. <laughs> Is it comfortable? Oh, it's ridiculously comfortable. It's a little low to the ground. I don't know. Well, I think it's a camp chair, though. It's a camp chair, yeah. huh? Does it all break down? Yeah. This is part of his campaign furniture thing, so the whole thing comes apart. Campaign? Uh, campaign, uh, camp for, campaign was that campaign or camping? Campaign. <laughs> Choke <I love> <laughs> Campaign is in military. I understand. Um, but it's, he's, he's into this whole style of furniture. No. Uh -huh. Nice. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's a great. I'll, you don't get popular, do you? Excuse me. You don't get popular work when you do. Sure. Yeah. Oh, you do then. Yeah. Then because he just, he just, they've had in the last couple issues they've had. I read it. So, yeah. This is wow. This is. You, you didn't hear the facetiousness in my voice. I didn't. No. I'm still, I'm, I'm really, know, the problem with you, Eric, is you're too much of an engineer. I'm really. Everything really, is serious to you. Too much of an engineer. I don't think that's possible. Oh, it's possible. No, I don't know, man. Just a bunch into the mice. The filter, the, you know, we have filters. We don't use any sanding or anything. Nothing allowed in there. But the filters are just packed with the air conditioning. There within days, and it's just the skin cells are deteriorating. Oh my God! <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> so I was thinking, you know, man, this ain't right. But now we are getting younger people. Oh, that's, that's coming in. So. so if it wasn't right, I'd have to grind it a little bit. And, um, that's great. Go back, you know, hone it and fit yeah, it. Yeah, just so thinking about setting up the two, you know, having the two irons. Well, yeah, you know, but you know, if you're used to doing that, that's yeah. not, not, a, not a big, I mean, I mm -hmm. set it yesterday and, and moved yeah. the one iron one way and oh, yeah. the other a little bit that way. But then once that's done, you then make a test piece with it and then set the mortising gauge to that. And I, that's, uh, I, I found out there was a problem with the planing. Afterwards, and so it is. Would there have been any advantage or disadvantage to cutting the mortise after having completed the uh, sash? No. Just think about. Uh, no, you have the chance of damaging the uh, molding. Oh, okay. okay. Just, yeah. So the molding is your final. Yeah. Well, that's it. No. Uh, uh, this is the process. Yeah. You do all the molding, uh, the mortising, and the heavy cuts. Then do the molding through it, which is odd. Uh, it's, it would seem, but no. no actually, your, your, your explanation nails it. Well, it's different. And when you do uh, doors, though, when you do doors, you leave the you cut the cheeks only. Uh, for some odd reason, I can't think why that. Uh, why you would do that? But that's the I, I can't remember why. The Hand Tool Olympics. Competitions in dovetail, sawing straight. Let's see how you do here. And I'm not getting it back apart. Oh boy. Got a, they got a stop in there. You, you adjust it by the size of the packet because you clamp, you you so go through the whole packets. Yeah, right. You, like you just have to put it in this. You can control the pressure on this. I'm hoping it's okay to use this. <laughs> He's just sitting there looking at me. It can't be too bad. He didn't say no. He didn't say right. It's on display. Okay, so I'm going. And so is the idea I kind of just hold this in here loose so I can kind of spin the piece. I don't want to clamp it down too hard. Be careful you don't break the blade. Yeah, it's really to hard to break the blade. So what am I, how, how do you use this thing? Uh, it's Young Chan's plane. Oh, it's got your name on it too. Look at that. That's beautiful. Want to buy one? No, I can't afford you. <laughs> wow. Go on with that. Look at this workbench. 
furniture grade workbench. Yeah. Look at that. Is that an Emmert vice? Yep. An Emmert mock up, Veritas? Yeah, Emmert something. Or genuine. Oh, this is a, oh, this is a Tucker vice. Right yeah. There. Yeah, that's. that's uh, oh, what's he making? I wonder if they bought the original patterns from the vices. Uh, Veritas. It looks kind of like it, but no, I don't think so. Well, it's got both names on it. It's got the Tucker Vice by Veritas. Yeah. And I'm wondering if they if they just license the design and they're making it. Wow. Uh, Ronnie Jordan. Walnut, maple, sapele, ligna, nice. bacote.